Embrace your talent if you got one Never lose your hunger when you need it the most Nothing to gain in this world full of envy Most of these black is their turn Yes guys, and it's AJ and I'm back with another video I'm back with another video Means back with another banger And this is the video you lot have all been waiting for There's a lot of things that I wanted to share with you lot during this season But obviously football being my job And me having so much like training and stuff like that and me trying to keep fit and obviously me trying to focus on games and stuff like that even though i didn't play a lot of games like i like to keep my youtube and my fo football totally separate if that makes sense so obviously because i'm doing it as a job and stuff like that i like to put that first and obviously putting out video a second if that makes sense so hopefully you lot enjoyed this video and trust me there'll be many more match analysis videos coming out soon so yes guys, welcome to my match highlights, I'm the number 7, I start off playing right wing, the fixture that I'm playing in today is a cup game against Welling United and this league is the National League South which is two leagues below League 2, it's very very good exposure, there's a decent amount of people that watch it as well, so if you're watching a YouTube channel and you don't know about the league or you want to know a bit more about the league, it's two leagues below League 2. So straight into the game, the right back gets on the ball and finds me straight away. I'm in the pockets. At the start of the game, I like to get my touches on the ball and start to get comfortable. So our midfielder gets on the ball, obviously sprays it out to me, which I'm in the pocket straight away. Look, me and, me and the right back, we have a very good understanding of each other. He literally passes the ball into my feet, I turn. And the first chance I have, and look at it, it hits the crossbar. So our right back has the ball. Finds me again, I make the forward run. This time I can't turn because the left wing back is now tracking me. And we play simple. And our right back turns out and we start again. So our midfielder has the ball. This time I'm hogging the byline. Come inside, turn. I play forward. As soon as I play forward, look, I run forward. Running behind the left centre back. Play a ball into the box. So I just want to replay this clip. So the ball's been given out to me. I'm hogging the byline this time. I've obviously come inside. I've chopped. As soon as I've played the ball forward, I've made a forward run. And look, straight behind the right shoulder of the left centre back's shoulder. Then I've gone to the byline and I've put an accurate cross in. So I've done very, very well there. So our number 10 gets on the ball, plays it out to our right back. Obviously, this time I start a bit more narrow. I make a forward run. The left centre back, look, it's like he's man marking me. I take him inside and I play a good through ball. So at this point, I come a little bit deeper. I'm showing for the ball. I'm being brave. I want to get on the ball. The left centre back gets a bit more tighter to me. So obviously, I'm trying to get on the ball. I want to see people running forward, but there's no forward run, so I just play backwards. So at number 10 gets on the ball, I'm hugging the byline. I try and come inside, but look, there's two, three players running towards me. So I play to our number 8, our number 8 plays back out to me, and then I ping it out wide, so I switch the play. So the right back plays out to me, this time I'm hugging the byline. The left wing back backs up the left centre back because the left centre back is having a bit of a problem with me. So he tries to muscle me off the ball, I get back up, play to our number 8 and our number 8 puts a very, very good cross in and our winger just can't deal with it. So our midfield is back on the ball, plays to me, I play a forward pass which is very, very sloppy, comes back to me, our midfielder cleans up again, I tell my midfielder to relax, we play a few passes. Me and the number 8 has got a very good understanding of each other. So this time I come a bit shorter, I receive the ball a bit shorter. The left centre back's trying to get tight to me. I give him a little bit of a chop, play forward, run forward again. And look, I think this is a bit, I think that's a foul there. So I'm in forward intercepts. I try and find a striker with a, with a decent through ball. And he just reaches it late. So I'm in forward, plays out to me again. I come inside this time. Switch the play and I make another forward run. So our right back gets in the ball. As you can see, I'm doing the opposite. So this time I'm inside. Do a bit of twist and turning. So their goalkeeper kicks out. As soon as their goalkeeper kicks out, our midfielder clears up again and look at the touch. And I play to our number 10. So our midfielder plays into my feet. Look, this time I come short. Look, literally, I'm playing off two touch and then I make a different angle. Midfielder finds me. Our understanding of each other is very, very good. 
I turn, try and beat the left, uh, the left centre back for pace. He pushes me over. I get back up. My recovery excellent, and I play into the striker, and that's my assist. So what I've done well here is that I'm not scared to get on the ball. I've come deeper. I've literally played off two touch. The left wing back on their team is probably thinking that I'm going to get the ball and try and turn. But literally, I've played off two touch and I've found a different angle straight away. So obviously, I've kind of pinned the left centre back, turned, and then he's trying to keep up for pace. He's obviously barged me or whatever off the ball. And I've just reacted so quickly where I've got up tackled the left wing back and then got myself into a good position to lay it on the plate for a striker and he's finished it that's my first assist of the game so that's the first half basically done there and I finished the first half with an assist. So yes guys, from that first half, I feel like I've done very, very well. Obviously I've done the opposite. So when, the, when our right back was given the width, I was shown inside. When our right back was going inside, I was obviously giving them the width. I always, I always made sure I was doing opposite movements. Also, there was times where I was hugging the byline as well and making sure that I could open up with my right foot so I could be 1v1 against the, the left centre back. So obviously, as you look and see, they're playing with wing back. So I was always trying to be in between so I could receive the ball half turn and make sure I was facing forward. Also, obviously, playing on the defender's shoulder is, is really hard. Obviously, the left centre back, you can see he's not as quick. So playing on his shoulder was probably annoying for him because he always had to check his shoulder. And by the time he looked over his shoulder, I was gone, I was making forward runs. Obviously, the first half, I feel like I've done very, very well. Obviously, myself an assist. But the only thing that was missing from the first half was me actually getting a goal. Um, one thing you can see is that I didn't always come feet and I, I didn't always take that many touches. So there would be, at times, in the first half, like, I would show for the ball, but I'd play off one. Like, instead of just always making sure that I would have to turn and dribble and stuff like that. So, mixing up your game is, is very important. If you're always a player that's always going to get the ball in half turn, that... The defender's going to know you're doing that. So sometimes actually showing for the ball, playing off one and then making a different angle to get the ball. It's a good thing. So let's get into the second half. So we're getting ready to start the second half and the score is currently 1-1. So our left back picks up the ball and you can see me on the top of the screen. I make a forward run. And he doesn't give me the ball. Look, I wave my arms about. But it's an unselfish run. Just because you run forward doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get the ball all the time. So our number 10 picks up the ball, picks his head up. And look, I'm straight on the shoulder of the left centre back again. Causing him problems. Put the ball across the box. And our striker finishes. And that's my second assist of the game. So I'm just going to replay the clip in slow-mo. So I make a run. As you look and see in between both of the defenders. Once once the ball's in my path, I obviously hold it up, do a little bit of a drag back, a little bit of a roll, send the defender, and then play the ball straight across the box. And I'll strike a finish it. So what helps me there is that it's the forward run in between both defenders. So looking at it there, what I've done well is obviously making the forward run in between both defenders. I've executed the skill very, very well. And then I've managed to get myself to the byline and get the crossing, and then our number nine finishes. So we get a free kick, and at this point, it's like the 80th minute. The gaffer starts making subs and stuff like that. One of the younger lot have come on. Um, when I got this free kick, what I was thinking was I just wanted to hit the target. Um, I thought to myself, shall I just smash it through the wall and then just hope on a bit of luck for it to hit the wall and for it to go in? Um, and when I step up and take the free kick, it literally just goes straight, but I let it bounce in front of the keeper and then they try and clear it. And then one of the younger lot who, who makes his debut scores and look, he's well excited. 
And yeah, at this point, the score's 3-1. So the score's 3-1, I'm dropping a bit deeper now, getting on the ball, trying to make things happen. I spray the ball out wide to our left back. Then the ball gets played to our winger, look, dropping deeper, trying to play a bit of a Firmino type of role. I try and play the ball to our number 10. So our number 10 plays with me, look, I'm coming a bit deeper now, a little bit of game management, just passing and moving the ball. Because we're winning, there's no need to force any passes. Literally, you can just play side to side and frustrate the other team. So there's a corner, I step up to take the corner. And automatically in my head I'm thinking we're winning, there's no need to do anything rash. There's no need to put the ball in a box and then it get cleared and the other team hits on a counter. I just thought to myself, let me just play short and just try and keep the ball because obviously the time's running now. At this point it's probably like the 85th minute. So obviously I pass and then I get the ball back and I try and protect the ball and then he lands up following me. And that's just wasting more time which is good game management. So I step up and I take the free kick. The free kick I literally just put in the box, but it's a bit of a risky one, but it is a good ball to be fair. So, yeah, I put the ball in the box. It's not bad. Comes out to our number four, our number four tries to put it back into the box. So, a left back finds me, look, I'm dropping in a deeper role this time, turning, getting on it, playing forward passes is positive. Look, a bit of game management, I get the ball. Passed on number four, and number four passes back. We're just trying to slow the game down. Game management, we're winning, there's no need to force any passes. Literally just wait for the time to run out. Change position, the gaffer put me striker. Um, I feel like second half I've done well for playing in the strike, even though I don't play that position a lot. But funny enough, I do enjoy playing striker. In that half, I play, I tried to play more like a Firmino, trying to come deep, trying to receive it, get on it. So it was more like playing as a number 10. That's what I was trying to do. The gaffer, the centre midfielders wanted me to run forward and they encouraged me to run forward. So I was just playing on the centre back's shoulder, I was running in behind, I was making good runs and stuff like that. And there was sometimes I was making unselfish runs, so making runs and creating space for other players to get on the ball. Second half I got two assists and the only thing missing from the game was just the goal, literally. And going deeper into the game because we were 3-0 up, the game management was very, very good by the whole team collectively. And yeah, we kept the ball, we won the game, we got the three points and that's all that matters. But yeah, that half was very, very good. Yes, guys, that's the video done there. I hope you lot enjoyed the match analysis because I've been wanting to show you this for ages. Um, if you want more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to be back with another banger soon. Just learn, tables flip and tables turn. Just be patient and just wait your turn. You can't rush greatness, that's what I learned. Real life.